Welcome to it. Your feel good breakfast show is live, large, and in charge on this Friday morning. It's so good to be in your company. You're right in time right now to see us in the kitchen creating all kinds of deliciousness. And for the next recipe, please hold on to your seats. How does crispy fried chicken on top of a soft cheddar and chives waffle sound? Is that decadent enough? Yeah. I mean, this is comfort food of the highest order, but wait for it. There is more. We're going to be drizzling some sriracha maple sauce on top of that bad boy. And the person behind the stove this morning, the king of the kitchen himself, Chef Clem. His Royal Highness of deliciousness. Why do we do this to ourselves? Because we love it and because it's the weekend and because we deserve good things. I, okay, I agree with you, I agree with you. But our viewers at home need to make this recipe. It is like, you know, especially with my family, oh. we don't, we, we are so noisy around the table. Yeah, yeah. But like fried chicken, it's like, but that's the thing, because all you hear is mm, mm. Exactly. <laughs> and then, and, and, then mm, mm, mm. And, and then like, when you get into the bones, <laughs> No. You don't? No. Oh, no, of course. Who does? Who chews the bones? Who chews the bones? Are you crazy? You never leave the bones. You know who did confess that he chews the bones? Who? Tabiso. Tabiso. And Tabiso and the rest of us out there, because all of you all that are saying you don't chew the bones are all lying to us. Mm. <laughs> lying on a Friday. But like we said, there is a safe space. You can share. You can, the kitchen is a safe space. Hey, come all right. on. Come so on. I showed you how to make this fried chicken. And yes. in all honesty, yep. like, it's just my fiance and I. We don't have any babies right now. Mm -hmm. We work on that for later. Uh, but now, hey, what, what is really, hey. really, really amazing is that when we get cravings for like food in the middle of the night, what freedom. Do do? What we do can do? just do it. So we made fried chicken literally crazy hours in the morning. We made pancakes at like two in the morning. Really? We just can. That's like that scene from that movie with with uh, 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 where they make the, the the croissant in the middle of the night. <laughs> it's almost like from Ghost. I'll, I'll tell you what her name is. All right. Okay. Meryl Streep. Meryl okay. Streep. Yeah, you right. know which movie I'm talking about with uh, Richard uh, Gere, I think it is. And they make croissants like 12 o'clock at night. Like, why? Okay, I'm going to find out. I, I think I know what you're talking about, but now I don't remember the name. It was romantic. It's like a whole southern vibe going on, wasn't it? Yeah, she lives in this beautiful cottage house. Yeah, okay. Now imagine me in that beautiful chef. cottage house. Just like making waffles. Hey baby, this, you want some waffles? Like, yeah, these waffles mm -hmm. are amazing. What's really great about them is it's so easy to put together. Yes, yeah, And you can, you can make the batter ahead of time. Mm -hmm. It's super easy. I've got self-raising flour. I've got some butter milk. Yeah. If you don't have butter milk, but you've got butter, uh, milk at home, yes. take a little bit of lemon, squeeze it in your, in your milk, let it sit for a bit, and you'll see it separates. There we go. That creates butter, butter milk. milk. There we go. So it's butter the interaction milk. between the self-raising flour and the butter milk that gives you that puffiness, that lightness. You must have that in your waffle. Excellent. So ne to, next to that, we're going to add some eggs. Always free range mm -hmm. going in. Always fresh. Always okay. fresh. I don't know if I've asked you this. I keep asking every chef that I, that I meet about this. How do you test if an egg is fresh without opening it? Without, without cracking it. it? Without cracking it open. I can't do it now, but let uh, me the, just tell you. So all the, you do is the you floating take, thing. I take like a little jar of water, and I do do this at home because you know eggs do like in the fridge. You don't know how long it's been there. Yeah. But actually, you can check the little date there. Yeah. What you do is you drop it in the water. If it sinks, you're good. If it floats, there's an air pocket inside. Yeah, it's, it's an air bad. pocket inside. Bad. So you get rid of that, and then you just get yourself some new eggs. There's a tried and That's tested it. method that I have. I don't know where I heard this from. I promise you, but okay. it works. You take your tongue, it's the tongue test, and you put it on either side of the egg, top and bottom. The one side needs to be cold, and the other warm. If they're both the same temperature, it's not good. Okay. It's not good. Okay. But cold, hot, yes, we're good. Um, South good. Africa, you don't need to worry. The eggs are always fresh in Woolworths. I don't want to be seeing anybody walking in Woolworths. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, uh, I mean. <laughs> could you imagine? This is... <laughs> Mr. Manager at Woolworths, me, me, you try Sorry. this. Hey, 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 stop it. No, no. Put okay. the eggs down. But yeah, yeah, okay. You bought them because you licked them now. Yeah, you lick it. You, you lick it, you buy it. It's, it's that, the that's the general rule in life. Around the world. Everything. You lick it, it's yours. <laughs> no. It's everything. You can't apply for everything, Clem. By the way, the movie's called American Gigolo, apparently. There we go. Uh, okay, okay, cool. So now I'm watching this weekend. Okay, so while we're talking about things that you should, should lick, shouldn't lick, I add some eggs in there, some salt going in there, crispy fried onions. We're gonna add chives to it, but the crispy fried onions add a different texture to it. Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. so onion on onion, absolutely. They Goodness. just add different flavors, so you're good. I love the sound of that. It's, it's so delicious. And then obviously, it's crispy. So as you're busy biting through your waffle, you're gonna get a little bit of, a little bit of a nugget. That's in there, malted butter. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's good. Salt, I already add salt, pepper. While I'm busy doing that, let me actually get my pot down over here. Because mm -hmm. we're going to make that like, maple sriracha butter sauce. Ah, that's the secret ingredient, it's, the it's, pièce de résistance, yeah, the I mean, sprinkler on top. It's, it's just so easy to make and it's delicious. There's something scientific about the way your brain reacts to sweet and salty and fatty things at the same time. Dopamine. It's, there we go, the dopamine. And your brain just loves it. You can't get enough of it. <sighs> this sauce has got that sweet from the maple. Mm -hmm. 
it's got the, the heat and the little bit of sweetness and savoriness from the uh, sriracha, and then the fat comes from your butter. Yes. And your brain just loves it, loves it. It's so good. Like, that on, yes. It turns a normal fried egg into something spectacular. I can't wait. Oh, every day's the, the weekend. Fried chicken to begin. By the way, whose idea was fried chicken and waffles. I mean, I know it's, it's served at some restaurants, but like, what's the yeah, origin of that I think it's an American, I mean, it is an American thing. Yeah? But I mean, Koreans have been taking it to the next level as well. Korea have been making the best fried chicken and waffles. But you know what I honestly think it is? I just think it's so inexpensive to make a waffle batter and the fact that it can live oh. in your fridge for a few days. And then mm -hmm. when you need something like it to go with like your, they normally do like biscuits. But, but I mean, this is easier. But you know why Koreans are really cracking it in the waffle and fried chicken department? Tell me, educate me. They've got soul. South Africa, your weekend has officially begun. Just switch off your TV, just go outside, go for a run. It's, it's done, it's done, it's done, okay. Make you be licking things, you be, you be just dropping one-liners. I love it, I love it. That's why I come to work every day. Okay, cool, okay, cool. Now what do we do, a little bit of the, little bit of waffle batter. And here's the thing about the waffle batter, okay? It expands, so don't overload uh, your waffle machine because yeah. it's gonna it's gonna come out everywhere. Yeah. Okay? Well, that's about two teaspoons full. Three, two yeah. and a half. Yeah. Two and, a half. and it depends on the waffle machine. Spoon, sorry. Depends on the waffle machine that you have at home. Now I know not everybody has a waffle machine at home. Yes. What I suggest you do, this is like a really good like like a crumpet type batter. Mm -hmm. So put a little bit of it like a flapjack. Oh we'll give you like a flapjack result. Yes. Put a little bit in your pan and when you see the bubbles come up, turn over. So you can totally just, okay. I know not everybody has a waffle, yeah. I don't know. So don't worry if you don't get the griddles of, of the waffle, yeah. it's okay. It's but okay. what you do want is you want that cheese to start like um, crustifying, going delicious, mm. going a little bitter. Crustifying. 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 Crustify. What? That cheese needs, to that cheese needs to crustify. Okay, cool. In here I got a bit of butter and I'm gonna add some maple syrup. Mm -hmm. You can use golden syrup. Maple syrup is a little more fragrant. Very more, very Canadian of you over there to just Yeah, maple absolutely, syrup. but I mean, nice. Willie's has it on shop and it just works yeah. so, so well. I mean, Canadians, they have like, it's 50% blood, 50% maple. <laughs> That's just, they just, they just like that, yeah. Uh, hey. Sriracha, you like sriracha? I, I like me some sriracha. Because it's nice, it's got a little bit of heat. It's friendly, that's but the it thing. Doesn't, it's, it's, it's your friendly hot sauce yeah. in the bag, do you know what I mean? It, Look it, at the height that you're just spraying that from, incredible. Open stuff. your mouth. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> We're not that adventurous today. So all you want to do uh. is you want to reduce that sriracha with that maple, with that butter. The sauce is super thick, Look at but you this. can decide how thick you want it. Okay. I like it quite thick. Deciding on, or depending on the amount of time. Then you just like, let it uh, run. Let it run, on let it waffles. run, let it run. Look at that. It's good, it's stuff. delicious. Guys, I'm telling you, if you're gonna start the weekend, start the weekend like this. It's only gonna get better. It's, it's just how you do it. Beautiful stuff. And listen, uh, if you are at it making beautiful recipes like this to feed the family and have them enjoy themselves, also take a moment to think of those that are less fortunate than we are, that are so hard hit by the COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, maybe you want to be part of the Fill a Bag campaign. Mm -hmm. The Woolworths has, of course, partnered up with the NGO Gift of the Givers and gives you the opportunity to do what you can to make a difference. So there's a QR code that we'll put on your screen in a couple of seconds if it's not there already. It's uh, it is there, okay? So you use your SnapScan app to snap that little QR code and for as little as 10 Rand a day, you can donate that amount to feed someone three meals for a day. But there's also other options for you to donate via EFT and all manner of ways. Um, you can go to www.woolworths.co.za forward slash together we will to find out more information on how you can help to make a difference. But in the meantime, this recipe, you can of course find on our website, Expresso Show. Dot com. Thank you, Chef. Anytime.